Hey guys, welcome to another product review video where we give you a little bit of insight into some of the products that we have been using and running as a team over the last couple of weeks and months. Well today guys, we are talking about the Feedback Sports Omnium Overdrive Portable Bike Trainer. So what we're gonna do is we'll start with well, what it is and then we'll talk about the pros of it, the cons of it, and then maybe a little bit about well, who should actually be buying this product. Essentially guys, we are looking at a bike trainer, but at a fork mounted bike trainer. So what that means is you are removing the front wheel of your bike and placing that into the mount at the front of the trainer itself. The rear wheel stays on the bike and is placed on the rollers at the rear of the trainer. There are a number of adapters that come with the actual trainer, so you've got different options depending on the mounting system. And also it's really easy to slide the length of the trainer. So depending on the size of your bike, across multiple sizes in your family or different styles of bikes, mountain bikes, time trial bikes, etc., etc., you'll have all those covered with this one trainer. So like I said in the beginning, the rear wheel stays on the bike. And as you start to ride, the resistance in these actual rollers builds. The faster you go, the more resistance you will feel, i.e. the more power you put out, the harder it gets. The biggest positive of the Omnium Overdrive is, well, look at it, it's frigging tiny. This thing weighs like just over six kilos. You could theoretically run this as carry-on luggage on a domestic flight. Packing this thing away into the corner of your room or into a broom closet. I know Jesse, who's living in like a one bedroom apartment in the inner west of Sydney, can easily keep this hidden away. The other thing is traveling with it. You know, the reality is we can take two or three or four of these things easily in the boot of a wagon. It is that small. Setting it up is super, super easy as well. I would put this under the same umbrella. Just travel and set up with this particular trainer is just, well, it's just easy. The other big positive is quite simply the design of the trainer itself. By that, I mean the fact that you are leaving the rear wheel on makes a super easy race day solution. So instead of having to fiddle around so you do a warm up before a particular race and then you've got to fiddle around with the rear hub or somehow you know put the disc wheel on or the now the brakes don't fit cutting any of that logistics out is a huge advantage the third big advantage guys well it's that it's like 500 bucks which is still a lot of money but like compared to the 1500 dollar smart trainery type solution it's a little bit cheaper I will say this, it's 500 bucks and it's cheaper than the other options, but the build quality on this, I'll be 100% honest with you, is better than a lot of smart trainers that I have seen. This thing is rugged, it will travel with you, it will last. So we have found, especially early on in the life of the trainer, that actually creating that internal resistance has taken about three or four minutes for it to build. Now that's not a big issue if you're doing sort of a 20, 30 minute warm up, but you will find that if you wanted to just jump straight on this trainer and hit an interval literally within minutes, you'll struggle. The other thing with progressive resistance, it is very difficult to do short, sharp intervals. Put simply, if you imagine yourself riding along and then bang, hitting a wall or a really steep climb, suddenly you've got that resistance pushing against you, that will not be the case on an internal resistance situation like this. You can't just dial in resistance like that. So essentially guys, this trainer really is for that person who is doing one or two indoor sessions a week, probably doesn't have the setup at home where they can just leave it out. So it's, it's something they can easily pull out, put in, depending on the weather. It's also really the best race day solution. So honestly, for someone like me, it's perfect because I don't tend to really do the trainer session thing much, but I love a good warm up. So, this is something that now that I've got maybe, you know, the car seats in there with the baby seats, blah, blah, blah. I can still fit this in easily 
And this trainer is not for the person who sees a bright sunny day outside and the first thing they want to do is jump on their trainer and hit up a Zwift crit. No, it is not for the Zwift junkies. You will get a far more immersive experience from the other smart trainers on the market. You can do it. You can have your Zwift account. You can do that once or twice a week as long as you've got your Ant Plus or Bluetooth power and heart rate devices and you will need a rear wheel speed sensor but it's not gonna be the full immersive smart trainer thing. No trainer is going to be everything to every person. What you really need to think about is what you want it for, where you want to use it. I think that's a massive one. And then how often you're gonna use it. That will all factor into the amount of money you're willing to spend on your trainer. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this review. We've got some great feedback so far on the product reviews, and it's been really good bringing in some of the feedback from the guys in the team who've been using some of these products, and we'll continue to do that over the next couple of months. Guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you very soon for another vlog and another product. Plur? product review <laughs> almost in it one take man product review anyway peace